he doesn't care about any of those cameras. All right, here we go. Okay. Jabs are out of her orbital. I mean, you know, he's. I feel like he's got hit by so many orbitals that he feels he has to respond to orbitals. Like he has nothing else. I hate this damn move. I got to do it myself. <laughs> oh, caught him out of the air. No combo. Nice option there. Able to catch him by surprise. That oh. was sick. Mix-ups. Uh -oh. oh, wow. What a Wait, sidewalk. Wait, backwards, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, repeated mid there. You saw JT probably trying to AOP underneath. But Take, he was ready for it. Where's the whiff punish? That should have been a launch. Nice. Able to get that, though. Man, both players, man. They are playing such a great infight game. But still, no one really running away with it yet. But Cha Cha looking to make. Oh my god, counter hit. Could go downstairs here. And he does. Wow, almost made a wall to wall. Counter got hit, look oh, out. Baited. Got him. You think you counter hit me? What the whole four? Oh, uh -oh, nice. That was great. Oh my goodness. Wow, he tried to sidewalk it, but just got clipped. And JT Chinoy, Cha Cha still in it. When is the last time we saw Ling at ninth place at Evo? <laughs> it's been a while, I'm sure. Nice, down one. Follow up, what's he gonna do? Throws escaped. Nice, Taki breaking the wall, converts. Rage mode, last chance attempt here for Cha Cha. Whoa, Rage Drive. It went for it. Had to go for it. That smart low kick there from Take to stop his options and just like that, set point for Take now. And Take really showing off. He knows the character. He's able to sidewalk in key key distances, able to avoid a lot of Xiaoyu's mix ups. Oh man, that's something we have not seen from Cha Cha. The AOP low trip. Yeah, and she has a lot of great options on Okazemi afterwards as well. Oh, counter hit. Yeah, caught Big her over finally. Oh, he went for a mix up. And I mean, that's one of the great things that Xiaoyu has because of the evasiveness of the stats and a mix-up afterwards. They, people can't guess right forever. Oh, again, the one-to-one -one last hit got him. That's when we lost the first game. Taki trying to close it out here. Oh, he's oh spinning around. Oh, my goodness. That's it. Oh, last no. chance. What's he going to do? They all oh, got hit in the midsection. Standing three, and that's going to close it out. So okay. just like that, so we now have our top eight for Tekken 7, and we're going to be back tomorrow with more action. Wow. JDCR, not in the top eight. Chacha, not in the top eight. Ugh. Either way, Crazy. I, I hope everyone enjoyed Tekken 7 Faded Retribution, and uh, I think it was great so far. We have a very been. solid top eight. Players from Korea, players from Japan, and North America. Yeah, you know, and everyone heard that Jimmy J. Tran wasn't coming. Like, oh man, he was the only sole, you know, U.S. representative of the top eight last year. Yep. So this year we're not going to have any. But instead, we got double. We got speed kicks, circus speed kicks. Recently picked up. He's in the loser half of the bracket. Yep. On the winner side, we Geese got Mas Geese Master, the first person to qualify for the Tekken Tour. Yeah, and so not just Tour. that. We have more international players this year too. So it's actually yeah. a good look for the Western side. It's it's <laughs> it's crazy. Things are just absolutely crazy. We've even got some Akumas. We've got Punko in the top eight winner side. Top it, of course, kicking off tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We hope you guys tune in. So we are going to take a short break, but we'll be back with Super Smash Brothers Melee, and we hope you guys enjoy that.